Victim is a 15 year old minor female. Um, she had gone to the bus stop, um, just the regular um, North County Transit bus. Um, while waiting for the bus, uh, the defendant came and sat next to uh, the victim. He's a 53 year old man. Um, and he began asking her questions. Um, odd questions like, how old are you? When are you going to be 18? Where do you live? Um, what's your name? Um, victim obviously was a little frightened by this and gave him a fake name and tried to just ignore him. Eventually, the bus came. The bus driver in this case was Ms. Terry Miller. And the victim entered on the bus and the defendant tried to pay for her and she said no, no, and she used her bus pass. And Ms. Miller remembers seeing this. And she remembers seeing that the victim looked very uncomfortable. You know, we transit drivers kind of get to know some of your regulars and when I saw the defendant, I was like, oh no, not him today. And then I noticed he was um, standing really close to a young lady that didn't, she didn't belong. She didn't belong with him. The victim then went to sit at the very back of the bus because she saw a woman sitting there. And she sat right next to this woman, hoping that the defendant would leave her alone if she sat next to somebody else. So the bus goes along, is on its regular route. Um, after a few stops, the stranger who the victim sat next to ends up getting off the bus, and now it's just the victim and the defendant in the bus alone. So despite the victim keeping her headphones in and trying to stay as far away from him as possible, the defendant was talking loudly at her from the front of the bus so she could hear at the back of the bus. He started to say lewd things to her, making sexual comments about her, and she started to get very uncomfortable. Um, the things I did hear really made me angry. Um, and I could see that she was really just trying to cover any skin that was showing, her legs, her arms, with just a little hoodie. So she pulled the stop request, and I had her come through the front door. And at that time I said, oh, I think I see smoke. Or, so I, I secured my unit and downed it um, and said, oh, I think I see smoke. I got to go check on it. When I left my bus and he stayed on, he was the only person left on the bus. He stayed on and I, I went outside my bus and passed the windows towards the back and I asked her, is everything okay? Are you all right? Because I, I didn't feel good leaving somebody in distress at that age on the street. So she told me a few things that he had said. And, done, and I asked if she needed, if she wanted me to call the police, and she said yes. And I asked if she had a phone, and she said she did. I said, well, why don't you call your mom, and I'll call the police. 911 emergency. Yes, hi, I'm a transit bus driver for North Carolina Transit District. I'm currently parked on Lucadia and El Cabido Real. I have a young teenage girl who was solicited by a <laughs> extremely old man who's on my bus. So they took him into custody. Um, and the little girl just came up and she just says, I just, want, I just want to hug you and thank you so much. The situation could have escalated into, into something a lot more dangerous because uh, the defendant actually, unbeknownst to anyone else in our case, um, had groped um, a minor female um, about a year prior to this incident. Um, he had groped her in a sexual manner. Uh, we were pending charges on that case, ready to go to trial um, while he was um, out of custody, waiting for trial on that case. And while he's out of custody, fast forward about a year, um, is when he uh, runs into this victim at the bus stop. And so the defendant pled guilty to that case and is now ordered to register as a sex offender. And this case really helped that case resolve because that case, like I mentioned, the incident had happened about a year before and the defendant had not pled guilty on that case, not until this case came. It's because of Terry that it's not too late in this case um, for the victim, um, that we didn't have to hear um, a really traumatic story of what could have happened. Um, it's because of Terry and what she did and, and stepping in when she did um, that this victim is safe today and, and as traumatic as the incident is, it could have been a lot worse, I mean, to know what could have happened if Terry didn't do anything. Terry Miller is a citizen of courage because she went out of her way while she was working that day as a bus driver to intervene because she saw that a child was scared and a child was in danger. 
and she didn't need to intervene, it wasn't her job to intervene, but she did it anyways. Getting an award seems a little, you know, I was just doing my job. But I'd like to say that I'll accept it on behalf of all public transit drivers because we are not recognized enough. And for every transit driver, they've got two more stories to tell you.